Hi guys, my name is Lucas Jennings and I am from the Data School's 21st cohort as part of the Information Lab. Today I'm going to show you how to use multiple map layers in Tableau. Now this is a brand new feature for the latest version of Tableau, which is 2020.4. And essentially what this will allow you to do is to add multiple layers on top of a single spatial object. So let's jump straight into Tableau and get started. Before I start building out multiple map layers, I just am going to give you a brief overview of the data sources that I'll be using for this demonstration. So firstly, I have a shapefile consisting of all the London boroughs. This is then connected to a, another shapefile, which has all the floodplains within London. I then have two more connections to CSV files, one which includes crimes within London and one which uh, is all about the different bus stops in London. OK, let's get started and build some cool map layers. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click and drag this um, geometry field from the London boroughs shapefile. So I'm just going to drop that into the view and lo and behold, we have a lovely little map of London that has been generated for us. I'm going to format this slightly, so I'm going to just make that a nice sort of gray color. Now I want the map to pop out at me more, so I'm going to add some white borders. And I'm just going to add a little bit of washout to the map as well. There we go. Now at the moment, Tableau is just returning me one giant spatial object for the whole of London. But as I mentioned earlier, I want this to be showing me the different boroughs. So what I've got to do is I've got to click and drag borough from the London shapefile and add that to detail. Now when I hover over the map, you'll see all the different boroughs being highlighted. OK, so this is the base layer. Um, for our map. And I think now it's the time to add our second layer. Now this is all to do with the floodplains of London. So I've got a similar geometry field here. So I'm going to start clicking and dragging that onto the view and you'll notice that add a marks layer little pop up there in the top left corner. So if I just stick that over the highlighted square Tableau is then going to add the second spatial object on top of the original spatial base layer. I'm actually pretty happy with the way that's formatted. I think it looks quite cool with the blue. Um, I think it's quite clear that they are indeed floodplains, so I'm actually going to leave that as it is. But I think this is a little bit confusing. We've got two layers labeled geometry. So what you can do is you can actually rename these layers. So I'll call that one floodplains. And let's call this one London boroughs. So essentially, because we've added a second spatial file onto the view, view Tableau has given me the opportunity to layer a polygon on top of an already generated longitude and latitude. Now, this is something that was not possible in 2020.3. You could um, create a dual axis with maps by um, duplicating the latitude and longitude and then adding a second layer um, using that method. But again, that was only limited to two layers. So I'm now going to add the third layer and show you how this new feature um, has developed the way that we can interpret maps. So the next layer that I'm going to add is all to do with the uh, bus stops of London. Now you'll see um, within the data source that a latitude and longitude was generated, but I want the specific point for each bus stop. This is why I created this calculated field using the make point calculation. 
So this will now return me the individual stops within London. So I'm going to repeat the same process I did for the previous layer, drop that on the view, and there we have all the bus stops of London. Now this is looking a little bit messy right now, um, and I think we can actually make this look a lot cleaner by transforming it into the actual bus routes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change that mark type to a line, and it's going to disappear, which is fine. I'm then going to add route onto detail, and then sequence onto path. Now we have all the bus routes in London. I'm going to do a little bit of formatting. I'm going to just reduce the size to the smallest possible option. And we don't want to use blue again, so I think I'm actually going to go for black and maybe that sort of opacity. There we go. That looks cool. I'm going to rename this layer to now say bus routes. OK, so I think this is looking quite cool. We've got a fair amount of context in the view now, but I think we can go one step further and add one more layer to the map. So I did the same thing as I did with the bus stops. I created a crime location calculated field to generate the individual points of the crime by using each latitude and longitude. So I'm going to click and drag that onto the marks layer, add a marks layer option. And again, it's not looking particularly pleasant right now, but with a bit of formatting, I think we can make this look nice. I'm actually going to use a density plot this time. Tableau is doing its usual trick of just returning me the one object. So I'm just going to click and drag crime ID and stick that onto detail so it differentiates um, between all the individual crimes within London. I think more formatting is needed here. That's not a particularly nice color, so I'm going to go for density dark red. I'm actually going to turn up the intensity, but let's lower the opacity a bit so we can still have a look what's underneath. There we go. So I'm pretty happy with the way this is um, turning out. Uh, I've got four layers within my map. Um, there is still one more feature within this multiple um, map layers, which is that you can essentially decide which layers are to be highlighted or selected. So at the moment, um, the default setting is that everything will be highlighted and selected. So this will mean that every single crime in London will show up on the view. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to I'm going to click on this drop down menu and I'm going to disable selection. In fact, I'm going to do that for the bus routes as well. And also the floodplains. So now the only thing that will pop up in the view when I hover over the map is all the different boroughs. And you can play around with these layers. You can you can switch the order around. We could add flood players higher up. We could um, bring the bus routes to the very top. Whichever one you want to be more visible, I guess, is the one that you would and bring to the top of the order. So thank you for watching this video, everyone. I hope you now feel a bit more confident in building multiple map layers yourself. Please check the description of this video for links to additional materials that you might find helpful. If you did enjoy this video, I think you would absolutely love this whole entire playlist um, on all the new features from Tableau version 2020.3. This was done by uh, several of my colleagues here at the Information Lab and it is all still totally and completely relevant stuff. So I'd highly encourage you guys to check that out. 
Um, click the link on the screen to watch it next. Thank you.